Hassa and I am co-founder of The Naturalist and we are building the Home of the Gorillas initiative uh, that is trying to find new ways to fund uh, mountain gorilla conservation in Uganda. Uganda has 50% of the remaining mountain gorillas in the wild and as the people that live closest to them it's our responsibility to try and save them. Um, the way conservation works is it has to be funded because this money goes towards things like gorilla doctors, it goes towards things like supporting the communities, it goes towards things like uh, protecting the forests from you know, the possible human wildlife conflict. The way it's been funded in the past is either through mountain gorilla trekking where people pay a substantial amount of money to go and experience the gorillas in person or it is through donor funding. Trekking was proven unsustainable um, when COVID happened because people could not travel. And on the other hand, donor funding is like begging. And you can't keep begging over and over again. We need to be more innovative and find other ways to fund conservation. And for us, technology was a great opportunity. And what we've done is build based on one key insight, the fact that mountain gorillas live in families in the forest and human beings live on their mobile phones. And what we're thinking is, can we get mountain gorillas onto your mobile phone anywhere in the world? And how we've done this is we have cameras in the forest following the gorillas for between one to four hours every day. We get this content, bring it to Kampala, edit it into short, fun, entertaining videos. They seem to have close to human emotion, you know, experiences. This one day that I was trying to shoot a picture of a gorilla and it did not see me because it was facing the other side. And when it turned around and saw me, it actually was shy. So it sort of covered its face and walked away. So this is the kind of content you expect to see. This is the kind of connection you expect to make with, with um, these animals. Uh, we call them animals, but I think they're much, they're much closer to being human beings than they are actually animals. Be part of the family intrigue, the family dynamics, uh, get updates on births, deaths, get updates on their movement, and just generally be part of a responsible community for only $2 a month. We've been able to build, to build the application uh, six months after getting the contract. We have a fully functioning mobile application. We have our first 200 customers. We have paying customers as well, so money is already coming in for conservation. And we're also launching the first Mountain Gorilla NFT. We're trying to sell some of the most unique digital rights. So um, we've been able to achieve very much in a very short time, and we're confident that we can generate substantial revenue for, for conservation. So it took us six years to convince the government that this was something worth doing. It's a very delicate thing for the government because, you know, mountain gorillas are only in Uganda, Rwanda, and Congo. They have to be very careful about who they let into the forest. But on the other hand, uh, we've also struggled with fundraising. What we're doing is, is, is different, but of course there's the challenge where people feel like, are we going to disrupt the trekking market? And yet what we think we're doing is actually creating more interest and mass visibility for mountain gorilla conservation. Over the next three months, we'll be launching the first mountain gorilla festival in this country. We'll be able to sell a patent NFT, which will include uh, naming rights, adoption rights, and some art of particular gorillas. Um, our target is can we um, grow to 200,000 subscribers all over the world? If we're successful at that, we can contribute up to $4 million to conservation annually. And this is purely from a product built in this country. So we're very proud of what this could be potentially. By providing the opportunity for innovators to get more exposure and be able to link with potential investors or markets, it's a very good thing because more people take interest in trying to solve problems or trying to create creative or build creative products. And I think that's what the government's looking to achieve and I think the government being involved is very important. We found out uh, with products that we've been building, Uganda is one of the best markets to validate a new product because you have fairly open-minded uh, fairly open-minded market, they're willing to try out new products when they come in. So Uganda is a great place to start and be able to then scale across the continent and to be honest I think that you know this is this is a great place to start. My advice is to get intimate with your problem. 
fall in love with the problem, fall in love with why you're doing what you're doing. And if you do that, in most cases, you're able to spend more time creating the best solution and be able to build um, a solution that works. Thank you.